Hello folks, today is Friday, July 15th, 2022. As usual, my name is Jake Baldino, here to talk about all the video game news. And it's quite a week, starting off with some spicy rumors, so let's just jump in. The newest thing that has been kind of taking off about Assassin's Creed and the next possible game is that it is going to be Aztec-themed, interestingly enough. Uh, this quickly took off spread like wildfire thanks to a tweet from uh, fellow YouTube game reviewer person guy, ACG. ACG is awesome, big fan of his work and him as a person, and he just randomly tweeted out that the next Assassin's Creed game is going to be Aztec, uh, which he has actually had a track record of hearing some things behind the scenes, but uh, this one is kind of weird. He didn't follow up or clarify or anything, uh, but Jason Schreier, a journalist who also gets Assassin's Creed and Ubisoft scoops, uh, went on to say that from what he has heard, like was reported earlier this year in like February, the next Assassin's Creed game is going to be centered around Basim from Valhalla, and it's just going to be set in Baghdad, and that that is kind of like the next fill-in game uh, leading up to the next one that we've talked about before, the rumored Assassin's Creed Infinity, which is going to take place in multiple places, and he said that of the the two that he's heard of, neither of them are an Aztec thing. So consider it possibly debunked for now, but on the other hand, like I feel like ACG wouldn't throw something out there if he didn't hear it from somewhere. I think the big question is just like, where did that come from? Maybe there is an Aztec section in Assassin's Creed Infinity. Who knows? It's gonna be a really long time until we actually know, uh, but we are going to hear about the actual confirmed future about Assassin's Creed in September, Ubisoft has announced. But there's one other rumor floating around just earlier, uh, thanks to Good old Jeff Grubb, another journalist who often gets some scoops. He has stated that he has heard rumblings of finally an Assassin's Creed Japan thing happening, which is something that like, I feel like for years, everyone has been like, please just give us Assassin's Creed Japan. So he says he doesn't know the context or anything, but yeah. So there's a lot of things floating around right now. I still take it all with a grain of salt. I gotta believe it to see it, no, see it. I gotta see it to believe it. Brain don't work, but uh, yeah, it, it, it's gonna be interesting to see what actually comes of any of this. As an old Assassin's Creed fan, I'm just looking at all these rumors like, okay, whatever. Uh, I still just want like kind of a back to basics in terms of uh, gameplay and stuff like that, but we'll have to wait and see. The other big story this week is that Red Dead Redemption Online is dead. Yes, you've heard it right. Uh, if you've been online on social media at all, you've probably heard the hashtag Save Red Dead Online for months now. Folks trying to just get Rockstar to give them more content, just more cool stuff in this game that seemingly a good amount of players play and love to live in this world, but Rockstar uh, and their updates have kind of dried up. And now Rockstar has at the very least finally come out and said, hey, we have no more planned big content themed updates for the game. Uh, they said that they're moving their resources to other games and the expectations are very high with Grand Theft Auto, so that's what they're doing. So a lot of people have been, of course, mourning the death of the game. It's not actually shutting down, nothing's happening. It's still going to get bug fixes and server support and stuff like that, but yeah. That's where it's at. Uh, we dove a little bit deeper into the topic. We put out a video yesterday, so uh, if you wanna check that out, that'll be linked down below. But another report that kind of flew by this week that like seemingly nobody really cared about but me uh, is the fact that like, last week we talked about the rumor that Rockstar, a after the reception and just like the whole state of that Grand Theft Auto Trilogy release, uh, that they've also scrapped plans to re-release, remaster Grand Theft Auto 4 and the original Red Dead Redemption, which some players uh, don't really have a good way to play that, so they were really banking on that, but hey, whatever. But, but the news this week is that another rumor is suggesting that they have also halted plans to release updated PS5 and Xbox Series X versions of Red Dead Redemption 2. I personally really love Red Dead Redemption 2, and I was hoping that like an updated version for PS5 or Xbox Series X would give me another reason to replay it. I, I do also have a PC, so like, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world, but still, a game that good and a game that made that much money could stand to get a little resources to get updated for the newer consoles, right? Shout to some of you out there watching, though. I know some of you are sitting there watching and you're like, I'm still on PS3, or, I can't get a PS5, and I hear you. Again, all rumors, nothing confirmed right now, but that's where we're at. Hey, next up, this episode's brought to you by our longtime sponsor, Vessi. Now, these are the dependable sneakers that we've been rocking for a long time now. Whether you're wearing them for work or for just chilling or whatever, Vessi's got you covered with a bunch of different styles and colors. Most notably, their newest release, the Everyday Move Slip-Ons. If you like to keep it comfy and simple, these are your best bet. And they got the extra arch support from their previous Everyday Move style. They're great, and all of their kicks are sustainably made, vegan, and 100% waterproof, which is my favorite feature. Despite the hot summer in New York here, it's been raining quite a bit, and they've come in clutch. Your feet stay dry, but the cool part is that they feel cool 
cool in the summer and warm in the winter. The material is just that good. So if you're looking for the reliability and the convenience of waterproof, but actual comfortable, dependable shoes, you're covered here. They're lightweight, but they're good for a variety of use cases. I mean, like, look at this pair I'm wearing here. Like I beat the heck out of these, but they still just keep going. They're that dependable. So if you want to check them out and it helps the show, all you got to do is click the link in the description down below or go to vessi.com slash game ranks and use code game ranks for $25 off your pair of adult Vessi shoes. Once again, that's vessi.com slash game ranks. And thanks again to Vessi for sponsoring our videos. In other news, interestingly enough, something I didn't see coming is that uh, PlayStation, Sony, they're launching a loyalty program. Uh, specifically, you'll be able to sign up with your PlayStation account and uh, this is apparently going to start rolling out in a month or so, and it's called PlayStation Stars. No, not the Special Tactics and Rescue Service from Raccoon City Police Department. No, Stars Loyalty Program is apparently going to be a thing where you're going to earn uh, by doing. Think of kind of like login or, or download bonuses you'd get from Xbox Game Pass or equivalent services uh, to actually doing stuff like hitting leaderboards or being one of the first people to get a platinum for a certain new game all these things are apparently going to contribute to you getting reward points that will let you redeem for PSN credit or digital goodies, whatever that may be. And not gonna lie, sounds kind of cool if it's harmless. You know, as a consumer, if there's little bonus things to keep you playing that doesn't hurt anything and doesn't really get in the way, I'm into it. I definitely want to know what you guys think in the comments. Like, I like, you know, after buying a couple of Nintendo Switch games, uh, then I usually have a little credit I can put towards my next purchase, you know, stuff like that. So if you guys are feeling this and you're playing on PlayStation, or really if you're playing on any platform and you're looking for something like this, I'd, I'd love to know what you think and what it'll take for you to actually give a damn. Also, in great news for me, we finally got a trailer and a release date for Bayonetta 3. Just when we thought she was out, she pulls us back in with her weird hair. So the trailer is awesome. It's very much just more Bayonetta as you'd expect. It also reveals a new character, Viola, who you're going to play as, which I just want to play as Bayonetta. That's that's, that's what I'm here for, guys. It's the name of the game. It's the name of the game, yeah. You want to play as a girl with a sword or do you want to play with a woman with killer hair who has guns on her shoes? It's pretty easy to me. That being said, it's a good trailer highlighting just like how crazy this game seemingly is going to be with uh, bigger monster summons and stuff like that. There's also an incredible reference to the original Devil May Cry that I caught that I, I just really like to see. Let me know if you saw that as well. But uh, we now know that the game is coming out October 28th, 2022. So I'll be hitting that up and we'll make a before you buy video for it. Don't worry, we got you. Also, in case you missed it, uh, the, the, the Power Washer game is good. I don't know if you guys saw Skill Ups videos or any other videos out there. Uh, it's blowing up on Steam and stuff. Power Washer Simulator is actually good. I, I started playing it on my Steam Deck a couple days ago and I'm, I'm hooked. It's dumb, but it's good. That's just a public service announcement. But uh, in other news, we're getting another Aliens game. No, not the thing that was announced at the Summer Game Fest presentation, that top-down Alien game. Uh, we're getting a new game called Aliens uh, from Servios, technically a VR company. They're developing this title uh, for PC and consoles and also VR. So expect it to be first person. It's seemingly right now just called Aliens and it's taking place between Alien and Aliens. And you're going to play as this like, just badass soldier who has a vendetta against some of these creepy crawlies. More alien games, especially maybe even first person games, if it's even a little bit like Alien Isolation, cool. More alien games, the better. Uh, that's just a good property for me personally, but Servios, in terms of the games they've made are a little all over the place, so I don't know how this is one, one is gonna be, if it's just gonna feel like a cheapy promo game or what, but that's the news right now. And in other news, we finally got some new news about Skate 4. It's, first of all, it's not going to be Skate 4. It's going to be dropped. It's just been going to be called Skate. And with a title like that, Skate, it is going to be an endless type of ongoing games as a service free to play game. Yes, it is going to be a free to play game and the developers have been pretty uh, forefront about all of this in a new video, uh, which they've been keeping us updated for a while if you've been paying attention. Uh, the transparency is actually pretty good, but with this type of angle, I have to see it to believe it. This is like a theme this week, but they said, I wanna be very clear that it's not a pay to win game. There won't be any gameplay areas hidden exclusively behind a paywall. Players won't be able to buy any gameplay altering advantages. So that's where we're at. It's very interesting because, you know, skate games don't always fly off the shelves now. Some people question like how many people would actually buy Skate 4 for $70. You might be screaming, yes, I'm with you, but you know, mainstream, I don't know. So the free to play thing, it's like on the one hand, I would want an endlessly playable skate. Like those games kind of just work for that. I just wanna do skateboard stuff forever. 
in a video game. I already basically do with Tony Hawk. But, you know, it's a matter of just how much is the monetization stuff going to be a turnoff. It's really funny because I feel like EA executives were like, oh, yeah, we'll let you make a new skate game. Sure. Yeah. Definitely, dude. But there's always a caveat, and we should have seen this coming, like, if you're that pissed. Uh, thankfully, like I said, the developers are putting out a lot of videos. They're going to keep us updated. So we'll probably know ahead of time how bad it's going to look. Uh, there are signups to start playing alphas and betas and stuff like that. So, yeah. And even with all that being said, the game's release is still a ways off. Just please, this is this should be obvious, but, like, please don't be like Diablo Immortal. God. Dear God. Also wanted to point out, uh, shout out to the mod community. Uh, uh, people have been finally diving into Skyrim Reborn, which is an incredible mod uh, that allows for cooperative gameplay with a handful of players in the world of Skyrim. And it looks pretty damn good. I want to shout out a friend of the show, Mr. Matty Plays. Uh, he did a great video breaking it down, just describing his early experiences in the game. So we'll link that in the description down below. Because it's like, it's very much like, ah, oh, everybody's sick of sc Skyrim, but like Skyrim's Turns out it's totally different when you can just bop around in it with a friend. Also, another uh, PSA, the Netflix Resident Evil show is up this weekend. I'm going to dive in because I hate myself. <laughs> uh, the, the reviews have been all over the place. It's seemingly another Resident Evil thing that just kind of takes some of the story and the elements and runs with it and makes a crazy thing. Kind of like those movies, like the, the Mila Jovovich movies, but hopefully better. I don't know, dude. Whatever. I'm going to watch it just to see what's up. So if you already have... Because some people do that. They binge entire shows the minute they go live, which, how? But if you watched it already, let me know what you think. And uh, really, that's the show this week. That's the news that we thought was worth just catching you guys up on. So we want to hear from you guys in the comments. I keep asking you from everything. Uh, skate, obviously, we got to talk about that. The PlayStation rewards thing. How you feeling on that? Where do you want the next Assassin's Creed to be? Uh, I was all on board for Assassin's Creed Japan. But after playing Ghost of Tsushima, I was like... This is the best game ever. I don't, nobody should do anything like this. <laughs> like, let's talk about all that stuff down in the comments. Definitely want to hear from you. Of course, uh, we'll be down there in the comments as much as possible, but things get crazy. So if you want to yell at me directly, hit me up on Twitter and Instagram at Jake Baldino and check out my new podcast I do with Skill Up, The Completionist, and Lucy from GameSpot. Uh, it's called Friends Per Second. Look it up. But thank you guys for being here. You know, if you enjoy this show, clicking the like button is all you got to do to help us out. If you've been watching for the six plus seven plus years we've been doing this show. Thank you for being here. But I hope you have a great weekend. Be safe, have fun. I'm Jake Baldino. See you guys next time. Pizza's on me.